Okay, so last time on Trash Characters, I reviewed a character by the name of Ray Rayford Gibson from the movie Life. Came out in 1999, starring Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence, Bernie Mac, Joe Torre, Anthony Anderson, Miguel Nunez, Sanad Lathan. Um, I hope I ain't forgetting nobody else. Um, but yeah, that was the cast. And last time I said Ray was trash. But I rewatched Life because of a special podcast that I watched. And I like to give these brothers a shout out because these is one of my favorite two people on YouTube. My man Tone and Big Ja from the Black Busters podcast. They are the reason why I am rethinking my thoughts about Ray Gibson. So without further ado, these are the top three reasons why Ray Gibson is also goaded. Let's get into it. Before I get into anything, <laughs> let me introduce myself to the people who don't know me and to the people who do know me. What up, though? It's me, Shiz. Shiz Griffin. SG from SGTV. Um, like, comment, and subscribe so me and you together could take this worldwide. Y'all know the slogan? If you didn't know the slogan, that's the slogan. Um, but yeah, um, like, comment, and subscribe, though. You know what I'm saying? Watch the video. Um, it really helps with the algorithm. So, um, help a brother out. I know I ain't been, um, doing as much. I feel like I've been neglecting y'all, but I'm back full time for my peoples. I can't leave my peoples. Y'all made me who I am today. Okay. Maybe not today, but in the past year or two, y'all have made me happy by watching my black ass talk about my favorite movies. So, um, once again, I appreciate you guys and, um, sorry for being, um, 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 distant. I just been doing shit, working, working on music, uh, other projects and shit I got going on in the works. Cause, um, as you can see, I have multiple talents and I don't feel like I should be pigeonholed just into one thing. But yeah, um, let's get this top three started. Let's go. Any cab heading up town because all the drivers know about raids. Boom, boom. All right. Number three. Number three. Y'all was killing me in the comments about this. Watch the movie again. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, cool. And that time, Ray was trash. He did a lot of trash things. But he did a lot of goaded shit, too. Like, for instance, number three. Saving Claw from Spain. He ain't had to do that. He didn't know that man from a can of paint. Y'all remember the scene where they both in front of Spanky and he asking them what's going on and all that type of shit, right? He asking Claw, Ray is asking Claw, how much you owe him? Yeah, they, they probably just gonna cut your thumb off or some shit. I don't, cut your finger off, I don't know. But um, Ray basically told Spank, bro, you ain't had to do him like that. He a square, he don't know what's up. Like, Ray didn't have to do that. You don't know this man from a can of paint. He didn't have to do that. That was some real nigga shit. Like, Ray, Ray, Ray wasn't in trouble, but Claude was. Ray could have said, all right, Spank, listen. Because Ray was talking to Spank eye to eye. You know what I'm saying? Spank wasn't even listening to what Claude was talking about. They dropping. Drown, and trying to drown that nigga. Trying to kill that nigga. And, and Ray stepped up like, bro, you ain't got to do that to the, to the bitch ass nigga, bro. He not, he not. He not built like us, dog. So, like, leave him the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? Ray didn't have to do that shit. And I thought that was honorable. I thought that was commendable. So, that takes away from the trashness of what he did to get them life. Yeah, that, that takes it away. So, um, yeah, Ray goaded for that. He ain't, he ain't had to do that. That's all I'm going to say. He, he didn't have to do that shit. Let's move on, though. Let's catch any cab heading uptown because all the drivers know about raids. Boom, boom. Hey, number two. Let's fast forward to the movie where Ray and Claude are old ass men. They old ass men now who been on the fucking plantation because that's what it is and that's what it looked like. They got an overseer. They doing work. This ain't just prison. This is slavery. And you got to remember when they came in, slavery ended what 60 years prior to that nigga it's 1932 when they first got there but we gonna fast forward it to when they got to the 70s i believe and ray and Claude probably was in their 70s i believe yeah okay so yeah that scene where they ain't talk after can't get right 
he got into the MLB, I believe, or maybe the Negro League. I, I don't, I don't, I don't actually know. I don't remember. Y'all comment that did he make it to the MLB or did he? Did they put him in the Negro League? I don't know. Either way, he got out because of his baseball skills. But once he got out, you remember in the movie, Claude and Ray, that set Claude off. Claude and Ray didn't talk to each other for umpteen years, right? Everybody done died off. Uh, Biscuit got shot. Jang Lang died off. I believe I read up Cookie, which is Anthony Anderson. He was released. Poker face, he was released. Um... Joe Torre character radio, he died. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All that shit happened, right? R.I.P. to the niggas that died. And um, that's that. But um, after that happened, uh, there was a situation with Claude. Y'all remember the scene when he running, trying to get the pie. They shooting at him. Bad aim and shit. They ain't hit this old man not once. They trash for that. They ain't hit this old man not one time. This old man running to go get a pie, and they didn't hit him not one time. But Biscuit, y'all got a clear shot on that nigga. Anywho, so Claude running, he, he steal the pie, and Sergeant Dillard make this motherfucker stand on top of the bottles as punishment. But he tell Ray Gibson, yo, if you shoot this nigga, he ain't say nigga, by the way. That would have been crazy if a white man would have said that in the movie. I mean, but it would have been accurate, though. You know what I'm saying? He a white man from the South. Back... And he he probably was born in like the 1800s because I'm I'm guessing it was 1932 when they first got there. I'm guessing Ray and Claude was born in 1900s, early 1900s. Sergeant Diller looks older than them, so I'm sure he probably was born a couple years before. Anyway, he probably was racist. But um, Sergeant Diller told him to shoot this motherfucker and I'll let you free. Ray was like, listen, don't give me that gun. Cause I'll end up shooting your white ass for that. He didn't have to do that. He could have he could have took the opportunity to shoot Claude and be free. But once again, Ray Gibson being goaded saved Claude's life. We moving on. Let's catch any cab heading up town because all the drivers know about Ray's boom boom. Number one reason why I believe Ray Rayford Gibson is goaded. Is the I'm the pappy scene, all right? Now let me explain. Once again, thanks to the Black Busters podcast because they pointed this out for me. So this ain't all my thoughts. This is me watching them, and I'm assessing it like, yeah, no, nah, that's some real nigga shit. But anywho, the scene where can't get right uh, impregnated the uh, 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 warden's daughter and shit, right? And the warden found out that the baby was black. So he came out there. Y'all know the scene, the famous scene. I, I'm the pappy where everybody like taking responsibility. You know who the first person was to step up? Ray Gibson. Ray Golden Gibson. Ray Gibson stepped the fuck up. Now, I'm going to tell you why he goaded for that. I don't think he knew nobody else would step up. He did that just to, 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 to save can't get right. Now, what if nobody else would have stepped up? What would have happened to Ray? Ray risked his life for can't get right. That's some that's some honorable shit. That's some goat shit. That's some goaded shit. I know I said he was trash, but Ray Gibson is the fucking goat. I ain't taking the trash uh, character episode down because he still is trash, but he also goaded. He also is goaded. Ray Gibson is a, a movie goat and for all that I'm gonna give him five goats for what he did there's a lot of other shit I could mention that Ray did in this movie to make him goaded but those are my three favorite reasons that that Ray Gibson is goaded and with that being said video over with I like to thank all the people who watching the video. If you made it to the end of this video, I like to thank you for that. I appreciate you for being here with me. Cause y'all could have been with somebody else. Y'all could have been watching another video. So the fact that you stayed to the end, appreciate you. But um, y'all know what to do. I said it before, like, comment, subscribe. 
um keeps the uh keeps the algorithm moving smoothly for your man Shiz, Shiz Griffin, the Griffmeister. Listen, y'all. I'm your favorite YouTuber. I'm the Griffmeister, I'm Shiz, but I'm tired. I've been doing shit all day, editing shit all day. I'm tired. I'm out this motherfucker. Ray Gibson is the GOAT. God. Touch your piss on the motherfucker. I ain't gonna touch your piss on it. Why you got to say nasty shit, Ray? Cause I'm a nasty motherfucker.